Hey, welcome back. We're still here with Mark Wilcox of the Isle Royal and Keweenaw Parks Association talking about ways that you can support and get involved with this organization. So one of the ways to, to really support it is to become a member of the association. So what, what exactly does a membership get you in and who are your members comprised of? Our members, it's a great question because our members are comprised of literally all walks of life um, throughout the uh, United States and into Canada. So we, uh, the membership, it's, um, it's difficult to really pin down. Uh, what do you get? Well, we have a newsletter that we put out three times a year. Uh, we also have um, uh, discounts at our, at our retail outlets and online. And the cool thing about that as well is that um, when you get a membership card, if you go online or to any of our four uh, outlets, there's two on Isle Royal. Uh, one in Rock Harbor, one in Windigo. There's one in the Visitor Center in Calumet. And then at the headquarters of uh, Isle Royal in downtown Houghton, right on the water. And so anything there online, you get a 10% discount. But if you're one of these people, and I met several of them this summer, who just go to parks. You know, they've, they've, they've got the, 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 tri the passport yeah, stamp yeah. and that kind of yeah. stuff. And they've been to 20, 30, what have you. And so most national parks and their organizations have a, a reciprocal um, arrangement with us. So you can get anywhere from 5 to 15% discount at uh, gift shops throughout the parks. So and then, so vice versa, what do the dues provide you with? You know, what, where, where, do the, where does the money go? If someone's a member and they uh, financially give to your association, what is that money used well, for? I had a, a question from a gentleman from Minnesota a couple of weeks ago who was uh, redoing his will. And he wanted to leave our organization um, part of his estate. And his major concern was how much of my donation is going to be eaten up with administrative mm, costs. Yeah. And I thought for a minute and I said, none. Mm. And he goes, what? None. None. If you give $1,000, $10,000 and earmark it to one of the areas we want, the scholarships or Moose Wolf Research, as you, mm -hmm. you mentioned mm -hmm. off air, um, all of that money will go to the part that you choose. Our administrative costs are absorbed and paid for through our membership and the uh, profits from our for-profit uh, for uh, okay. stores. So uh, that's what we do in terms of, we've had bequests, we've had grants, we've had um, somebody, a, a, a lady just a few, a couple of days ago, sent me a letter said, my husband recently passed away and I said at his service, any, you know, the in lieu of flowers thing mm -hmm, you hear mm -hmm. would go to Isle Royal. Mm. And I just did that the other day and sent the money to the park. Yeah. So that's what membership gets you per se. And there's different levels. And there's not, you know, you don't get a coffee mug with this one and a t-shirt sure, with that sure. one. But there's just to be a patron. And, and we have our, our newsletter here somewhere that, that we publish. And, and people find out about the parks and the different things. And, yeah. Uh, and it's a way to you support know. the parks. Really I mean, a is. lot of people do want to support, you know, the national parks and are always looking for ways to preserve them and to help those that manage them. So, um, And yeah. we support the parks in many ways. Um, we do have a program called Aid to Park, where each um, year I meet with, we meet with um, the management of the parks, and they tell us what we need. You know, we if you've been to the park, mm -hmm. um, you've seen the Greenstone newspaper mm -hmm. that uh, there's 50,000 of them that, mm -hmm. that are passed. They're great for uh, if you need to burn, you know, light a fire. There's that too. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well, after you read oh, it, after, after you read it, it has a nice map in but there. It has all the maps. <laughs> yes, And then there's yes. one for the Keweenaw area too that, that you know, benefits the park. We publish those. Okay. We, the, the uh, parks print them, they put up, provide the information, but we uh, fund that. Uh, we also, there's gonna be a lot of uh, great uh, things coming up in the Keweenaw Park in the next few months, a lot of um, children's programs and that, that we fund, working with uh, Amber Craft from the park there. We do the same thing, the Artists in Residence program. Um, they had this past summer, there was a string quartet performance uh, that was composed by Libby Meyer from Michigan Tech, a former artist in residence on the island. Um, 
we uh, commissioned that. We've got another one coming up for the park's anniversary. Uh, the orchestral piece. So, so many those are pieces. Yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of things that we do. All right, we have to take another break. Um, just so you know, though, I do have my original map from that newspaper on my very first trip to Iowa. I will keep it you forever. Didn't, didn't I didn't know. I did not burn it. it. So <laughs> you froze but, that night, but you kept <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but if you're in a pinch, I mean, you, you, it's a great fire start. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we will be right back. <laughs>